Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Season 5 Grand Final. We've got Diomed receiving with his Necromantic up against Spartacus with his Orcs. And in the booth with me is the legend, Fymir. Hello. Oh, oh. you might... Spanish of Blood War. <laughs> you might got destroyed there, Fymir, but hello. <laughs> Okay, here we are, the final of the CCL Cup. Well, how many CCL Cups have been already? Jesus Christ, millions of them. <laughs> and uh, here we are for another one, and this time it says uh, Orcs versus Necro. Mm. What a surprise. <laughs> yep, these are two of the strongest team in ladder, for sure. And, you know, Orcs probably the strongest overall team in Blood Bowl 2020. And, uh, but Necro, no slouches either. Uh, they, their start is a bit rubbish. I guess that's why uh, Diamond's got a worse record right overall. He, the struggling early phase. But now it's up and run. Both very lean teams. 16.20 for Diamond, 16.40 for Spartacus. Um, funnily enough, right, if I hadn't casted the World Cup, I would have said definite Diamond favourite. But Spartacus, I thought, played amazing with his strange Lizardman build. So I, I've got a lot of respect for Spartacus, um, but I'm still going to pick Diamond anyway because he's got a, he's got a mighty blow claw, right? He's got claws against orcs. He's got a bunch of guard, four guard. How many have they got? Three, four, five, seven. So it's four, seven isn't so bad, right? You know, like if if the orcs had ten guard, it'd be a bigger concern. I think I think Diamond will just have about enough. Plus he's got sneaky get dirty player, whereas the orcs only have. Block dirty player. But anyway, here we are, and this time, this time to avoid possible controversies, choosing a country. <laughs> this time we're doing things a little different. I want to choose a galaxy, no oh. random galaxy. <laughs> and the random galaxy is Centaurus A, which is around 11 or 13 million light years far from Earth. <laughs> with a size of 60,000 light years, an operating magnitude of 6.84, and it's the closest radio galaxy, the closest BL laser type object, and it has an unusual dust lane. So when the light of this uh, uh, stream reaches uh, Centaurus in around 12 million years, the people there will be able to enjoy watching it in a space of around 60,000 years, more or less because of the size of the galaxy. <laughs> we reach first border and then go through that. So, hello to all our viewers in Centaurus A. <laughs> Thanks very much, find me. Brilliant. <laughs> Great choice of galaxy, yeah. <laughs> so hot right now. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, wow, he's not getting the knockdowns yet. Some gym dice here for Diamond. And uh, yeah, true. The first removal. There. I think it's anyone's game. I think it's anyone's game. Oh dear. After picking one, I only picked one because chat pressuring me to pick a winner. Um, orcs are so strong, aren't they? If the orc armor holds, then you'd imagine over time, like you know, they'll they'll get the edge. But they've only got two mighty blows, so they're not super strong. Wow, these are some horrendous dice. Horrendous dice. Terrible uh, rolling by uh, Diomed. Terrible. Wasting his chances here. <laughs> and now he could be, he could get his like wolf stuck, right? So he really doesn't want to get his wolf there stuck. There is also a chance that that wolf gets punched in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, if, if, if he, you know, he's got to bring in a guard for it, but then if he punch, pushes twice, then he's just in the middle of everybody. He gets blitzed and gang fouled, in fact. Never mind just punched. I guess he can't get fouled because there's only one. All the linemen will be on the LOS. So. I am absolutely a white Twix man, yeah, 100 million percent. Oh well, there we go. The 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 skilled zombie gets a knockdown and AV break. <laughs> the 
Hola, de Cildos en Solve the Big Easy. Oh, that wolf been there. And now the other wolf. He gets the power. Oh, no, no, no. It's the. It's the power in the first seat. Important. Um, you could sift him arrow if somebody sets it up. Yep. Steve, maybe, please. <laughs> Okay, okay, Ale. This is this guy with this guy, isn't it? 3D as well. You can 3D him. What's the. I always forget which one is the command to make the gambling. I've got no idea. I literally haven't never done it, so. <laughs> Dimmy is the, normally the one who does them. I have done it before, yeah, by the. We. I rushed. Command. So this was to this was to save his walls, right? In case he in case he put in a guard, and also he gets to foul it as well. Fouls it himself. Sent off for a stun. Oh, diced! Argue the call fails and gets sent off. Well, that foul alone has now suddenly made uh, made Spark because the favourite, I think. Full it me. Snurty is gone instantly. <laughs> wow. Wow, what a swing. What a swing. That could be the death knell for Diamed. Okay, I got it, I got it. Glorious, thanks. Thanks, Fimeo. What a legend. I guess Jim Con could have done, but I mean, I just don't know how to. There is supposed to be an ODL match now. I mean, there is an ODL match now. Yes, gap, shit. But, um, you know, this is the CCL final. And ultimately, it is just a group game, right? Um, right now in the in the World Cup. Um, as much as the World Cup is for thousands of dollars, 8,000 euros total. And this is Chalice and isn't for that. <laughs> um, it's the final is the final of Chalice, final, you know. Yeah. It's the final. So I thought, you know, it's I mean if if it had been the third group game, would have probably done the group game honestly, but uh with it being not such an important match. Eight thousand real dollars. Well, Darth Pointy, last before turn one, I would have said Diamond. Now I'd say Spartacus. Oh, armor break there. Biggest car did a thing. Oh yeah. Wow. Would have removed that zombie if he'd gone for it. This is what the other galaxy people wanted to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 We, we will know in a few million uh, years <laughs> when the light arrives there. And to guarantee that the light is there, we have a uh, Dimmy G with his phone <laughs> on the stream, you know, pointing to the sky. <laughs> so, you know, the light, the photons can travel the whole distance. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the top eight are getting like a, like a special title. I think we're getting titles for like qualifiers and top eight and stuff. And then the winner will get like a logo. And I think like everyone from the winner's league will get something as well. So here we go, blitzing with the mighty blow claw. So you know, like it's it is always close to just winning, isn't he, Dimer? That's the thing. Like if he can get the ball rolling with claw might, he make a few removals, then he'll get on top and start winning. But uh, if he doesn't get those lucky hits in, and you know instead gets his snurty player sent off after the first foul, he could be in a bit of a pickle. 
Yes, I saw because that the uh, beast was also a ghoul. So, <laughs> oh, dodge with the wolf. Never seen that before. To the blitz. <laughs> Classic necro blitz, yeah. Lord Top Blood Bowl. Yeah, something like that, Chrissy B. I mean, uh, I think uh, people are more interested in the prize money than the whatever logo they get, but they uh, twitch their own, you know? I don't know, I'd like the Lord. I'd like the Lord Top Blood Bowl. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, true. If you get two and a half grand, you, you know, the, the other a logo isn't quite as cool as that, is it? No matter how cool the logo is. <laughs> but it is cool that there will be a logo, honestly. Like, I think that would be... That would be nice. I would like that, you know, if I won or even got top eight or something. You know, it'd be good having something there. Like, it's been good having the Season 2 Finals uh, logo, you know. I've enjoyed having that. God, yeah, 1080p stream. It was. It's amazing looking at, like, old videos, like, how terrible they were, isn't it? The old quality. Unbelievable. How just old-fashioned things from the 90s look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sad. Sad being all things, all things change in 10 years. Mm. I know, right? That's the craziest thing. It's only 10 years ago. Oh, here comes the Blitz. The Wolf gets the POW. Mighty Blow hit. Ooh. Nothing. Nothing. The challenging thing for for Diamond is going to be able to make blocks at all against Seven Guard now, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Remember when I you say that having a four uh, guard uh, wasn't that big uh, of a deal. <laughs> now the problem is that many of that guard is in a strength for players. Oh, gets the pow. And he's got this one isolated, right? One of his one of his guards is just stuck over here. Yep. And he's not going anywhere for a long time. <laughs> no, that's the problem. Yeah, all stuff dated by forms. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you know what was weird as well? There's a movie recently called um, Electric Lady or something. Something like that, I don't know. And... Um, it, it it's just... one of those movies that you watch for the plot. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it was like I, it was like it was it was it was a fun movie. It wasn't uh, it wasn't a weird movie at all, and um, and in that that felt like it was like a nineties period movie because like even though they had modern day mobile phones and everything, just because they were smoking so much, like it's mad how like smoking in public just like disappeared really rapidly, didn't it? Like that's so weird. I, well, it completely disappeared in movies, also, mm. uh, or in series. Nobody smokes uh, anymore. And uh, it surprised me in Stranger Things, which is based in the 80s. <laughs> yeah. You know, everybody should be smoking all over the place. Mm. And nobody's. Mm. I don't know, maybe, maybe, it was, maybe it was something. It was something like that. I don't know what it was called. It was all right. It was an all right movie. The problem was the um, they tried to do it a little bit like uh, what's it called, Pulp Fiction, except they literally. Um, <laughs> oh, it's called Strange Darling. It's it's called nothing. <laughs> it's called nothing like Electric Lady. Um, <laughs> Strange Darling, an American thriller film. There you go. They can't try to do it a bit like Pulp Fiction, you know, like with the out of order scenes and stuff. Except they titled them with like chapters, so you, it would just made it obvious that it was just rubbish. It was just really rubbish. It just spoiled it that they that they titled the chapters and stuff, numbered the chapters, and it was just rubbish. That made it rubbish. In the first season, everyone was smoking and they were criticised. I did not know that, Steve. 
I didn't remember that. I only watched the first two seasons. After that, I was like, nah, man, this. Uh... Uh, but I read that for the last season, they're gonna have to change the, you know, use uh, CGI to make the kids look younger, the <laughs> age, because they are like 20 something now. Yeah, yeah. Which is fucking mentally. One of them even has a kid. It's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, married with a kid. <laughs> That's the big, 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 big mistake. They should have kept the, you know, the story going through years. Mm. So you have, you know, the early 80s and then in the late 80s or early 90s or something like that, and we'll be fine. But no, they went that way and they're like, oh my God. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that's a good point, hold on. Uh, yeah, no necrodoty stays in there. But yeah, this is true. I mean, so he's he's moved everything over to try and reconnect with this Garda, right? Like he wants to threaten the Surf, and he wants to get this Garda back involved because he needs him to be able to make any hits. <laughs> yeah, but imagine if they have to do, do the series Sherlock without the mobile phones or the internet, you know, Sherlock will, will actually have to do something. <laughs> Instead of coming with the rabbits out of the hat every single time, or have this guy that has his contacts, or have this network of uh, homeless people all over London. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Not everybody can be Quentin May. You are so right. That's a Quentin May a funny show that uh, it started in the you know the story of a family in the late years of Franco, and it was so successful that I, I, at some point people were making jokes. They wanted to catch up with modern times and go to the future. <laughs> oh, he gets the power, full power. There's a rookie the here. He's having a good uh, good block dice, getting the right powers. Yeah. Yeah, this is, you know, it's not a dicing, but Diamond's definitely getting the worst of the dice. There's Necro player on the bench. They've got two. And they've got the ball all the way back here still. But it is just a rookie ghoul, so it's a very dangerous ball carrier. He hasn't blitzed yet, has he? So he's going to blitz the fleshy and then move that guy away. Oh, here we go. The fleshy. Wow, I mean, he is blitzing. He's blitzing a fleshy, but not the fleshy. I thought he'd have blitzed the, this fleshy, right? And then escape his guy, but he's not. I smell a 4 plus dodge with mm. uh, the line on the side. Yep. He might go. He might go forward, right? He might go four three, and then come out out to here. That's actually pretty cool. No, he just punches him. That 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 actually works too. I mean, it does if you roll a pow, yeah. But wow, that was uh, that was really. Nobody puts Orky on a corner. <laughs> <laughs> that was really risky. Flip me. I mean, it might not work either. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double rush and just surf. It's got three rerolls. I don't hate the double rush surf, honestly. But is that the best play that the uh, Spartacus can do now with the uh, Blitz? Well, you know, uh, someone could say that he has a orc on his pitch problem right now. Yep. I, mean, I think that's a good start. It's a, it's an extra player off. Like it's guaranteed removal. So I I think the double rush blitz is good here. This is a lovely base to stop him coming down. He probably have to move the ball back a little bit. And then if he's putting play, a player up there, that makes it a bit harder to get back. But. You come in there and block him. I honestly think this is the player that double rush 
Pues. I think just standing the flesh is gonna keep a, a few cool keep a busy a few orc players. Yeah, true, and then just rely on him failing it another turn. The thing is he stood up both wolves, which would be the natural ones to blitz if you weren't doing that. Like he could have just put in both guards right and then blitz with a wolf. So it's... I think he needs to put some guard around the general area just yes, because to make more difficult, you know, the, goal, the wolves getting punched instantly. Yeah. I, I think I think he's going to have to go for this place. Does the fact that he hasn't, you know, like, it, okay, the ball's coming up here very close. He's not going for the. Oh, he's going to do just a one D surf. Doesn't get it. Diced. Dice indeed. Didn't uh, Spartacus have a piece with the juggernaut? He does. Yeah, he's got two. He's got two juggernauts. But. Just remind the audience all over the universe, and particularly <laughs> the people in Centaurus I What does Juggernaut versus Sidestep? Uh, versus Sidestep, nothing. But it count as it count as Juggernaut. Uh, sorry, it count as stand firm on a blitz. He does have a grab player somewhere, I think. No, he doesn't have a grab player, so. He doesn't have a counter for sidestep, but he could surf the he could surf the stand firm with Juggernaut, but he would need to like you know blitz it twice, and it cancels fend and wrestle, but there's no fend or wrestle here yet. That's very true. Oh, there is a wrestle. There is a wrestle. This zombie. And it can turn both down into a push, yeah. It, it's quite a good skill, it's quite a good little skill. Yes. No, because I was oh. saying that, oh! Saying that because someone would say, oh, why not use you gonna do, you know, with the race on the sides? And that's because they have side steps, so that would be a very dangerous uh, blitz. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be his uh, choice because there are not that many necro players, you know, to hit. I think he's going to be smashing this wolf with a mighty blow tackle. And then foul it, maybe. I think this is the, I think this is the blitz. There you go, there's the blitz, here it comes, gets the, the pow. Side step, shape the square where you want to die. <laughs> Cause tries to go out. No assists here. Doesn't follow. Which sticks him on there. I thought he might have I thought he might have come back to here and then blocked him up. He just stands him up. And there is the flesh doing the the Lord job, that's one mm -hmm. orc. Taking care of two orcs, mm -hmm. considering the one that has to get up. Maybe three. Maybe three. If the, I mean, that third orc, the the line over there, I don't think is gonna do much besides the trying to hit the. <laughs> three, three players. He beat them all. I mean, all. that that line. Of, I mean, what were you doing? Re -roll. Re roll. Re roll. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Found the fleshy? Ah, mm. there you go. There you go. Yeah, that is a way to solve that constant surf pressure. I mean, see, this is me. I think it was worth getting the getting the guard in last turn to get that surf. Because you can see how worried about it Spartacus is. To, you know, committing a re-roll on four players to try and try and rescue that situation. Now the question is, can you make a wolf do a double surf here? Oh, I don't. I, I just. I'm worried how you do anything here. This is 
This is a disaster. He's down only down two players. But it, one of them is the claw mighty blow wolf. And the other is this sneaky get dirty player. So he's got no like he's toothless necro now, right? He's it's hard for him to blitz I mean he's gonna have to try and blitz this, I guess. That's the thing, the, the orcs have so such a strange difference. Mm. Oh, break tackle, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's still, um, it's would have still been like double GFI or or dodge rush. It's still the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny thing was, it didn't even cost him positionally. It actually, it actually solidified his position at the same time, right? It completely shut down any any burst up the side here. So it's actually a really great blocking and fouling there. Really, all you can do is put your wraiths in here and blitz this guy, and hope you cas him, and like probably run the ball back again. Like it's just really, really bad. I might have moved the ghoul first. <laughs> okay, the one in nine, not the not the kind of result you were but this is the wall. I think he has to so, re-roll it. Oh he doesn't. This, it's weird. It's a, it's a kind of subtle dicing, isn't it? It's not like you know five players cast or like four dub schools or anything. It's just never knocking anybody over. <laughs> yeah, and getting never zoned out. getting anything done. Nothing works. It's a slog. Yeah, it was looking really tough to get a touchdown in at all. That's the problem. That's the problem with the sneaky get dirty player because he's only got four players that can do things, and he's lost one of them, and then the other one got removed, and now he's only got two players left that can do things, which isn't isn't great, is it? To only have two players that can move. <laughs> it's, 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 it's horrible. I I think. Uh... If he managed to keep it the nil nil, it's gonna be a triumph. Yeah. Oof. Man. Would have loved to have powered him, but can't re-roll it. He's got <laughs> Will he foul the fleshy again? I mean <laughs> I would. <laughs> I think he'll just run away now. Now that, like you know, now that it's down and it's not threatening to surf anything, I think he'll probably just run away. He has need to get the. There you go. Another piece down, and then uh, some of the top guys move them. Uh, maybe one of them back to the right. Yeah, yeah. This this guy can get like here here and then he can just solve any problem there you go oh oh further. a little uh, further mm. Was hitting that the uh, white? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! He doesn't have a dodge. I forgot. <laughs> Didn't follow. No, that's interesting. But then he got the pause so, and he got the stun, so it was a perfect non-follow. <laughs> yeah, I okay, guess he want to go. Now, to now, what the hell <laughs> you do? <laughs> The question is if he has followed, even if he's not getting that, that white that is uh, 
next to it, even if he tries to dodge back, it will be a four plus. Now that White has a square, a safe square to dodge with a three plus. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. Probably should have done. Right, now you've just got a four, four, three through tackle. <laughs> uh, no, four, four, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? And you Easy. get a serve. Easy. Yeah, easiest play of his life. Berlin inconvenience. And all that with uh, having to pick where the hell you put the ball now. And, the, and then you pass it to him. And then you run down here ah, and pass it to him. Ah, of course, of course. Sorry, I <laughs> forgot to add a couple sixes, you know, just for my <laughs> Yeah. Easy, easy, find me. Easy. Easy, easy. Is it just declare it? You know, there was a board uh, tabletop, just declare that, get up and leave. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done, it's done. It's just, okay, no need to touch plastic, you know? This, this, and this score. That's it, done, sorted. <laughs> You know, Sherlock style when I arrive in my room and uh, gets clues or things that are absolutely impossible to know. <laughs> like the web browser history of someone. There you go, boom. Oh, he was looking this in, man. <laughs> As, uh, the first two seasons were okay, but after that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did he fall? <laughs> Yeah, trying to get the Wraith down as a scoring threat, that's probably his best best chance now, yeah. <laughs> In fact, yeah, his best chance is to get the ball as far as possible as his, uh, of his uh, touchdown line. Doesn't matter if he's one of his players covering it or it's on the ground. <laughs> he, could, he could uphill this big one and hope for double pals. And if he gets double powers, then he's got the dodge out here and the blitz there, and then he runs up there. But, like, it's so ridiculous. He's absolutely... Time it is indeed cooked. Yep, this is brutal. Uh, at least get up the fleshies. Yeah. Oh, he did do the uphill. Nearly, nearly work. Yeah. He still can do the dodge with the wolf. <laughs> yeah, now, now it's now it's four, four, three. <laughs> Serve. <laughs> or it's or it's four, 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 one D run up there well, will it be going up and to the up uh, left uh, five because there is two orcs uh, across and then up uh, across across and then up yeah, yeah. okay okay yeah. well he has three rerolls that's like it's like having dodge yeah he, he could do the four 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 but I think four four three is better. But then this is a better success state. Oh, he uphills him. Uh, okay. Maybe he was checking the CCL rules to know what happens if he if he concedes. <laughs> oh, re rolls into a skull. I mean, these been most of his block dice, to be fair, both down and skull, so... Yeah, yeah. And now, and now, I think I see a blitz on the ball with tackle. Yeah, yeah, I think we could manage two dice here, yeah. <laughs> there is no Maybe. need to do any rush or anything because the, the big un moves five. Yeah. I don't know what the play was there, by the way, like, push him to here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I mean, you still can't get anywhere if you go that way, I think the only play was to either surf this guy and stand there, 
but he still just gets smashed. I think probably the only way was this 1D Blitz, honestly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, He rush, could have dodged away with the, with the white to make it, you know, 1D instead of a red dice, the Blitz with the Wolf. Yeah. That was a 3+. plus. Then 1D into 2D. I think the play, I think that was the play. I think that was the play it was four four four. I mean, it would have failed. That's it. Still, I mean, that that it, whether it would have failed or succeeded, given the dice that he rolled, is irrelevant to what the correct play was. Isn't it? And I think the correct play was. Oh my God! Four, just four, just four. even the scatter tells you know <laughs> Spartacus, please score. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please score in this. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There is the ball here. This is the dog. Please finish this. <laughs> Jesus. Will he foul the wall? <laughs> yes or of course? <laughs> oh, wait, no. No. I, he can foul it turn seven, but yeah, I think fouling it would have been pretty good. Oh, no, there he fun. goes. There is a foul. There is a fouling the ghoul. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Then that removes any doubt, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a, a one in nine for Diomed not to score. But now he can now he can blitz with this this wraith, can blitz and uh, him, and then he can oh, chain yes. him and, and then take scatter out the, the ball. ball over, scatter the ball. Yeah. Scatter the ball to the top right, and <laughs> then the white that is in the ground without nobody close to him <laughs> can get up, pick up the ball. You make a screen with the zombie, <laughs> just laying there. Well, he's got all his wolves here, right? So it could it could go, get thrown in this way, and then get thrown in that way, and then the wolf would dodge around and pick it up. It's, it's absolutely perfect for Diomed. Here it comes. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! This is absolutely brutal. Yeah. I guess you go for the score here. Shoulder. If it fails, you've got another chance, whatever happens. Whereas if you leave it till turn eight, he might push you and he might... Yeah, yeah, you know, score might, now. Scatter. Score now. You have enough stand firm and things like that. That's to, you know, avoid the risk of the one turn. I mean, you get... You get the... Oh, thanks, uh, Wotan. Thanks, thanks. I guess the problem is he's got the wolf chaos. So you really, really don't want to score turn seven. <laughs> you really only want him to have one roll at this wolf, but... Like, picking it up now is really good because you might, you might fail the pickup, right? You really don't want to... Like, if you leave it till turn eight and you fail the pickup, it's a disaster. Okay. You can surround the the ball and the ghoul, foul the ghoul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But with yeah. a dirty player, it's not that uh, hot, but still. And then you can pick up the ball. Yeah. The ties have been horrendous, yeah. It's absolutely brutal. At least it's happening in a, you know, a, in a in computer format, which the pieces move more or less quickly. You don't have to endure this in tabletop, you know, where the guy moving the piece was square by one, you know, and two, three, four, five, eight. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go, good. Send off, doesn't matter. Send off, send off. Oh! Oh, oh yes, I would have called. What does. a professional! What a professional! Of course he does. 
Wait, are we in the call in the town? Oh my god, yeah. such injustice! <laughs> um, he might have just ended the turn after it, actually. I, I think using a bribe... No, yeah, arguing the call, if you use a bribe, doesn't end the turn, I think. But arguing the call does. It's one of the two. Five plus dodge anyway, isn't it? And then, and then scatter it. Five plus dodge scatter is all he has. Oh, oh wow, an armor break. So lucky, my god. The Omed must be loving it. <laughs> Hello, I cannot dip. Hello, yep, hello everybody. Argue the call ends the turn, bribe doesn't, thanks Yudi. Of course the goblin coach knows, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he also knew that Biggins couldn't pass, a fact that I never knew. It. Oh, here we go! Skulls, replay, re-rolls, it gets, finally gets the push! Will it go in the oh. crowd? It does? Ah, uh, not very far. Can the wolf get there? That was a... No, he can't. He can't even get pick it up. Man. That was pathetic throw-in, wasn't it? One, two, three. It must have gone like three or four. That was uh, <laughs> the lowest effort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, four. Four on 2d6. Ugh. At least he can base it. He can manage a miracle. Mm -hmm. And then this is a nil nil. Yeah. Because with side step, he's going to need to get, you know, a, a pow or a dodge pow on the, the piece. And he's got another side stepper here. There we go. Two side steps on the ball. One with foul appearance, one with dodge. Tackle uh, the, the, the wolf. Bleach with tackle on the wolf. You don't want to risk the full appearance. No. And, the, and, this, and this ghoul is here as well, so... Wraith. 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 What did I say? Ghoul. Oh, God. No, not ghoul. Wraith. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Can't speak English, right? Man, imagine if it just gone like I don't know, one more square or something. Then there's suddenly like screening, right? And and few more squares. It could have been completely caged. There was a bit of a. I mean, I guess it was only three and eight to go in the crowd, right? So I guess he got lucky to get it in the crowd at all. No pal. Keep stuck on the big one. Yes, but that uh, freeze the tackle piece. Yeah. Yeah. So a system blitz thing. Guy is all he can do, isn't it? And he's got the break tackle to pick it up and try to score. Oh, he's also got this sheer hands guy still. How far away is he? One, two, three, four. Five, it's because six. he has a extra movement. Yeah. Oh. So you can do it with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Then he gets sure hands on the pickle. But he's got two rerolls anyway, so we might as well just do it with him and then use break tackle, right? Yeah. This guy picks it up and scores. That's completely the wrong play. That was absolutely completely the wrong play. Because <laughs> he won in nine the dodge. Right? He's got two rerolls. That was a big mistake by Spartacus. He's but uh, 
The sure hand speed also has also has dodge. Yeah, but he, there was tackle, and it's only uh, three plus tackle. anyway. Yeah. Oh well, there wasn't tackle, but it was just a three plus anyway, right? So like, it, it, it's still worse, right? He went for a three three instead of a three two. Well, sorry, it was a four. The pickup was a four, and the dodge was a three. But he had two rerolls. So if he'd just gone with the other guy, it would have been a 4-2 instead of a 4-3, and he'd have had a re-rolls and everything. Yes, so, yeah. yes because he could have used one re-roll for the pickup and another for the dodge. Yeah, yeah. So that was a mistake by Spark, because wow. Wow. So wow. close, and now Diomed <laughs> breathing a huge sigh of relief. And he gets the wolf back. He gets the wolf back. It's like nothing has happened. He only lost one uh, piece. Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, I think it should have been the other way. Making things 2 plus instead of 3 plus is really good, isn't it? So, yeah, I think he was in there. I think it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Honestly, I think it was 3 back and then 3 in. And that ends a half that has been a traditional half of Blue Ball has been a nightmare for both coaches. Yeah. Nobody had fun in that half. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Still Spartacus with the, with the necroscore. Yeah, I mean, that's, to say what a disaster, an abject disaster that was for Diomed. Incredible that he, like, you know, he, he kept himself in, isn't he, you know, did the right things, and there you go. Um, you score. Then big, yeah, yeah, you score. It's only like not biting somebody that means that you don't. Here comes the prediction for the second half. Woohoo! Will this go to overtime? Yes, no, and a third option if you just want to waste points. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Now he's got the ball. I mean, so, you know, I guess the Oaks are still favourite. Big favourite here. That is the easiest uh, cage he's going to be able to make here. But, you know, now Diamond has the reset and... Uh, has escaped the half, maybe he'll become favourite. I guess it depends on the zombies, right? If he loses these seemingly inconsequential zombies, it'll make it that much harder for him to get back on top. Oh, oh there you go, one gone. The one without the armor up. Mm. Okay, people, the, the, the option with more points is the one that people wanted to waste points. <laughs> I, I know, I know what the viewers uh, want. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. There's an injury. And now... Dos and Regen. Yeah, down to nine players. This is going to be really hard. Oh, oh the, the zombies that are just there to stand up and eat punches <laughs> are not there anymore. Yeah. It's still not but over, right? It's still not over. The that Wolves can that do makes things. that makes that every player on Diomed's uh, team is now nearly a positional. Yeah. Hundred percent, nearly hundred percent position, ninety percent positionals. <laughs> and the Lino has a rest. Mm. Oh, I cannot. Have, sorry, yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes I speak too quickly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's fair. 
<laughs> as a non-native speaker, I I could I can't understand anything that is in English. <laughs> so yeah, it's funny enough. I also am not a no a native speaker of English either. Hmm. I think okay, he's not doing it. I would have gone for the zombie and the wraith in here and blitz with a wolf. And I know it looks stupid because you get mighty blow tackled afterwards, but I just feel like you've just got to get lucky. But maybe I'm wrong, you know. Maybe you don't have to do for the like go for the stupid player. He's going to try and pick off the guy at the edge, defenseless guy at the edge. This is the sensible easy thing begins. to do. Easy begins. Easy begins. Get him. him. And the dodge as well. He has to dodge. I mean, if you're not dodging, then this race should have been like one further forward, right? Yeah, he just dodged. Yeah. Oh, he dodges and runs, runs away. Mm. Weird, no, I don't know, it's just a lineman, isn't it? It's just a lineman. I think you're going to save for it. I mean, it is turn one. It is a turn one KO, but it's just a lineman, and it could go to overtime, right? The game could go to overtime. Um, yes, and also there, there are so many pieces or pieces with icons you want to do you know one of those that lino especially when you have got rid of uh, two of the uh, linos mm. so it still has the advantage the yeah. orc yeah i don't hate not having there if there were you know if i lose this player i'm gonna be you know two players down or even worse probably yes yeah. because you need you know uh, pieces yeah exactly but yeah. in that case it was okay it's gonna be you know instead of 11 versus 9 it's gonna be 10 versus 9 yeah and my 10 are a highly on average highly superior to his uh, 9 yeah yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? You've got, you've got eight positionals, and then you've got the dirty player line So he's like literally the bottom two out of your 11. Um, Still out strength him, out guard him, out block him. I mean. I mean, I wouldn't have hated an apple, but I wouldn't say it was weird, no apple. You know, I think it's. Uh, that's the thing. So there you go, and it's funny that I would have gone for the, uh, I would have gone for like one of the big ones, and then would have killed it, and he would have definitely appled it, and then he'd probably remove my wolf. But um, I just like the idea. I mean, uh, he can probably go for this, this guy next turn, can't he? So maybe I was a bit too rowdy. Yeah. Oh no, he can't go over him. Maybe I did want to be a bit too rowdy last turn. He can go for the stand firm uh, big gun. Moving the fleshy one square down and he can uh, move the good one square down mm. and hit with the wolf with mighty blow from the top right square of the big gun. Yeah, he could, he could, he could. The problem is he gets trapped a bit, doesn't he? Brings these both down, blitzes him. If he pushes oh, him yeah, and then he powers is, uh, him, it's yeah. great. If he pushes him and then powers him, it's great. And then he's away. But if he powers him on the first one, he's trapped. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's stand firm. So he just stands firm anyway, and then he dodges away. 
away from tackle. He could choose not to stand firm. Yeah, so if he gets power, that means mean. So he's only ever powering him on the first one. That's what I mean. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, so he, if he gets pushed, uh, he doesn't stand. He stands firm, and then if he gets pushed again, he stands firm, and then. But if he gets powered, he doesn't stand firm, and then he's trapped. So yeah, it's tricky. Oh, a rush. I don't know what the plan is, and how important this rush is. The reroll. Okay, well, he thinks good enough. We're blitzing this guy into the fleshy. Shouldn't he have moved the fleshy in before? Maybe, I don't know. Or oh, is he going to not stand firm? But then he can push him into the flesh and the flesh he chooses to stand firm. Yeah, I thought he was going to not stand firm so he could push him again and escape, right? Oh, but he, yeah. But he didn't have enough assist to do that. Two minutes of, of added on time. Oh, Dios me, this burning that the... Oh! Unbelievable, Jeff. And now it's when the apple fails. <laughs> he did apple it? Wow, yes. okay, wow. I preferred apple in the KO to that, I think. How the turns table. So I think it's nine aside now, isn't it? And Dolce, Dolce and gets vindicated. Yes, yep, yep. Yeah, I, I mean, I just wouldn't have appled that either, to be fair. I, would, I wouldn't have appled either of those. Um, but if you're going to apple that, I would have appled the first one, basically, is the way I look at it. Let me. Now he's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? Down nine aside. Imagine if Diamond was still on eleven. This would have been a disaster for Spartacus having those two, the two Wolf Blitzers removing somebody. I mean, it isn't the worst play, but it's only thirty-seven and a half percent, isn't it? So that's what I mean. I feel if you're going to apple the second one, I would have appled the first. Maybe I'm just being stupid, I don't know. I don't want to apple a uh, serious injury on the off chance of overtime. I want to apple a badly hurt on the off chance of overtime or a better player getting KO'd. Or the second player getting KO'd. You know, like what happens next turn? If this mighty blow guy gets KO'd, right? Like, I would have appalled this guy. Swingy foul. It sure looks like it, Yudi. Yep, he's got in two players there. He rushed. He rushed to assist the foul. So that and sure looks like he's fouling. Rushed to foul. Stunned for a... Sent off for a stun. Oh my goodness! He's down to eight Ooh. players! Whoa! Oh, oh. Equity shift that Whoa. is gonna be felt in Centaurus A before the sign <laughs> of this game arrives. That's how strong. Breaking the you know faster than light equity shift. <laughs> and look at look at this guy! He's got he's got a he's got a juggernaut stand firm block guard biggin about to be tagged out by either this zombie or this zombie and you know this guy knocked over with a wolf blitz and all of a sudden he, he's in a lot he's in a lot of a pickle isn't he 
Or maybe not. Maybe he'll blitz this guy with the fleshy. Get both fleshies in the way. That's pretty nice, isn't it? And then you can block him with the with the wraith. In the wolf, I think the wolf could reach if he wanted to go for the ball. One deal, the ball, <laughs> but. The... I think maybe he's fleshy on here, right? He could hit up. He could have the... No, no, he can't. Oh, sorry, I'm being stupid. Okay, fleshy in there. I quite like the fleshy just blitzing this guy, honestly. It was very dicey. Yeah, yeah, that was... It was very dicey. This is brutal, though. If this rush works and you get... You get him eliminated on a on a zombie. He's not risking the rush. He's just putting him on a wraith and then hoping to dodge the wraith away later. Or maybe he's just going to blitz him with the wolf. Blitz him with the wolf and then put the wolf back up. No. The ghoul's blitzing? The ghoul's blitzing this guy. So he just thought the fleshy here was in a better spot. I would have blitzed with the fleshy so it was a block full block, right? So I'd have just made that and then had both fleshies out in front, basically. That sounds good to me. Mm. And now, yeah. But this is this is probably a better spot for the fleshy. A fleshy that is working magic. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> it's all gone down the drain for Spartacus, hasn't it? Flip me. This is rough. Hey, Serumol, uh, subscriber Serumol, yes. Greet the uh, view of the pitch there. Uh, <laughs> you clearly know your way around. <laughs> a founder, a founder. One of the one of the few founders. What a legend. <laughs> Hello, there Serumol. you go, there you go. Been so long here that the, the people in Centaurus they will know him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, one of the OFL lads. And the know, orcs have to move back. back. Yeah. Okay, that pow is uh, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty incredible, yeah, so That is pretty incredible. L uh, lots of people... Lots of is people have been offended out. Is, out. He's the true lore master. He knows the whole lore of uh, <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm glad you uh, you you sorted out your World Cup game. By the way, um, that was. I was getting worried. I, I was like, I, I messaged Electric Vision. I was like, what's going on? They haven't they haven't scheduled yet. I haven't posted it in the channel anyway. But uh, Ceramol versus Gabias is the last match of the World Championship round one. They are playing on Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC. Round one of three. Yes. Oh, man. Oh man, thank God you have the help of Andy Davo and Miss Peltree to cut every single game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think just surf the, surf the lino is fine. Yeah, I think the surf is the easy thing to do, not very risky, get it sorted, happy days. <laughs> a, tr <laughs> a, quite a triple surf maybe for, I think it's just a single surf. I mean, he's already in, so... 
And that zombie Lino! <laughs> <laughs> Doing the Lord's job there! Yeah, the problem is where does the wolf go afterwards? Maybe it is time to go. You base the ball, obviously, yeah, with yeah. the wolf. Get to the surf. <laughs> oh my god, that was that was the KO to use the, the apple. Ooh, so yeah, okay, goes there. Oh my Run god, I'm so back. good at this game. Maybe well, I should have gone to that square. Maybe one square down. Well, one square down gives them the three plus out, right? And then... And then dodge with these up to break tackle and like get a screen so this was to like try and stop the potato I think yeah because I, I, I was thinking one square down but yeah one square down gives him the potato out so yeah there you go Corpax is facing the double guard is Oh, wait a second, he's gonna base even more. Mmm. Because he's because got a guard of his own, right? He's got a guard of his own up here. So he still needed the extra assist to hit him. Oh, tackle. The icon of tackle pop up in the screen, which means that wall. Oh, oh injured. Oh, injured, but regens. <laughs> that was the problem with basing the ball. <laughs> That's why I would prefer a one square down. Hmm. But then if you one square down, he can just dodge away, right? Like, that. this is the problem. One square down, I think he just dodges away and runs up here. And then screens he him. Has another, he has another wolf just uh, around the corner there. Yeah, but I think he could have screened him, is the problem. Like, one, two, three, four, five, okay, six, seven. I need seven. to be away for a minute. I need to feed the cats. Ah. Wolf is alive and ready for next year. I mean, maybe overtime, right? The wolf might be back for overtime. But yeah, I wouldn't have hated just running away if uh, if he based from down there. Yeah, Diamond's really running out. Spartacus has still got a healthy chunk, honestly. Three minutes is pretty comfortable. It does not give you extra, no. Oh, he did the blitz on Falopunes and rolled a one. Oh. Unbelievable, Jeff. Now he's like got nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, and this flesh is about to come in and ruin his life. So he has to go somewhere. Just run back. Maybe he just has to run back with the ball, honestly. Like here. And you just have to run back. Genuinely. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, no, I don't think that's good enough. Because you just 2D him and you've got guard on the ball and then it's bad news, isn't it? Yep, I mean I agree I agree fully, Saramol, but the problem is <laughs> doing this and getting turned over and uh losing before overtime. Okay, back. Hello. Hello. I miss anything? Uh, no. All right. So that that pals. Oh, he followed. Oh, 
He followed! And he both down. I wouldn't have followed there, right? And then the, the fleshy comes in here. And then he blocks and pushes him. I wanted the fleshy in here. I wanted this fleshy here. And then this fleshy in there. Well, now the fleshy can... Uh... No, no, can, can. Like that to me was the best square for the other fleshy. I'd also probably rush with this fleshy. Because you've got a yeah, two. Yeah, one square down or. Uh, yeah, and then you've good. got two defensive. And then so you'd, you'd have this one down there. So it'd be a two into a one. Oof, Diomed is uh, going to have massive. Well, both of them, the time banks are. Well, if there is a game that needed a lot of time back, this was that game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, overtime is going to be, uh, if we reach overtime. Mm. Okay, here comes the wall. Two and one uphill, gets the pow. Gets the pow, of course. And now he's got the goal for recovery. And another removal, oh. my god. I tell you what, Diomed's dice made up for it in the second half, didn't they? Like, every hit has been a removal. False sense of security into the orcs in the first <laughs> half. Just let this go, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's perfectly fine. Wow. Down to 53 seconds. He's Ooh. literally one, two, Ooh. three, four. He's removed four. In, f in five claw blitzes, he's removed four players. <laughs> Absolutely mental. Claws or OP. <laughs> It is when it rolls well, it, when it rolls well. But yeah, look how much worse this guy is here than if he was here, I think. I think that was a big mistake for... Ah, but then I guess that keeps this big and controlled, yeah, hmm. Not oh, the mighty have fallen. The orcs forced to do 1D blocks. <laughs> Dodge, oh no. He's got break tackle though. You could punt it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. And then just throw it up there. Hope you roll like a four plus or whatever. Rolls a one on the dodge. <laughs> He's not punting it. So has to rush to not get instantly served. Yeah. Now, that's what does 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 the blitz. Yeah, and this time he gets the foul appearance, gets the pow. Oh, there you go. No that more wreck. <laughs> you need to move <laughs> you need to keep moving <laughs> I mean the good thing is the time bank isn't going to be so much of a problem because he hasn't got that many players to move anymore so this is a huge block here isn't it at the moment this is strength 6 so he can just easily move in a zombie to make it a 3D and then if he gets a power it's 2 into 2 and then just go for the pickup with the wolf himself. Really, what? just automatic, isn't it? Really. Easiest uh, turn of uh, goes <gasps> with a 2D. I hate that. I hate that. I guess you can use the wraith for the assist, so you can just 2D, 2D. But I would have definitely moved in the uh, zombie to make it a three in the three, like to make it a 3D for the pow. I guess the thing is, then he couldn't have got the ray through, so maybe it was better to not to. Maybe, Look at that. Maybe Diamond thought of that. I didn't. Now the, the, the wolf can run through the fields of wheat towards <laughs> the ball. <laughs> the fields of wheat. Classic. And actually, he doesn't want to want to serve right, so maybe he wants the wraith in there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe the wraith in here, and then like run diagonally up to hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seventh square hitting it, and eighth. 
So because you, you really don't like hit out and kind of you know surf it because then what if the ball goes in the crowd? So yeah, I guess he was thinking he wants to get the wraith to there. So his plan was always to just get the wraith two two and two, and then come in. Oh, he is pushing that way. I don't like pushing that way as much, but it does give you the, like the better recovery with the uh, with the wolf. Oh, the problem is now you get surfed if you fail the pickup. <laughs> really tall pill, you've got to do it. There's the pickup, keeps uh, moving, happy days. Yeah, now he can reposition it there. Should have done that before he did the blitz. Oh no, he couldn't because that's where the wolf was stood. You could have moved him one. You could have moved him one before moving the wolf, I think. But now I guess he can move him two. Never lucky, feel the catch. Right? Rush with a good with a zombie. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. There you go. I called it. I called it before. Uh, yeah, yeah. Happened. That was uh, well done. Good. Wow, dodges this one. Doesn't re-roll. Really yeah, that was nice actually. Yeah, do that with the first one and then use the second one to cover it. Yeah, the it? second one. Do if that will work? It will be like uh, absolutely. Horrible for the orcs. Well, still is absolutely horrible for the orcs. <laughs> yeah, that was really that was actually really good. Yeah, well, he good can use there. the break tackle uh, big gun to get one D on the fleshy, and then he can blitz with the blitzer on the ground. Yes, and pray or I, I don't know. There used to be so many players on the pitch a few times ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's just like, he's just, every single turn he's removed somebody. It's been crazy until the last one. Oh, the Dubai skulls has to re-roll. Injured, not bad. Not bad, he's a... Uh... Ghoul with a uh, Dustin Regen. He's had no luck, has he, Diamond? The Ghoul didn't regen, the Wraith didn't yeah, catch the ball. Yeah, it was going all well, all well for him, you know, but that regen on the Ghoul, ah. <laughs> Which, by the way, you know, if you were a Ghoul in a undead army or necromantic army, you have questions. Why I'm not the one, I'm the one without regenerate. I am the one that eats flesh. <laughs> you know what the hell is this? <laughs> All appearance, I see a wonder. Oh, so yeah, the break tackle with him was nice. Yeah, the break tackle. No, break tackle with him to get there. Oh, and then this was the blitz. That was the blitz with the fall wow. appearance because fall appearance cancels the whole thing. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Boy, it's, 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 it's a massive, massive uh, oversight. <laughs> yeah, it's a huge bob. Like, it's a ridiculous, like... Foul of is already a good skill, by the way. Like, when you think about defensive skills... Um, like, it's just it's just better than, like, dodge and block, really, right? Because it just, it just knocks out 16% or well, 17% yeah, of the It knockdowns. just works. It just works. It's a, it's a thing that just works. There is no... A skill that cancels it. You know, you know that mm. there is no defense against a full appearance. Mm. It's an ugly bastard, and <laughs> there you go. You know, there is no <laughs> overcoming there. There is like a tragedy, you know, a lesson there for ugly people. You're ugly, and you are ugly forever. Nobody can overcome your ugliness. <laughs> yep. What happened here? Claw mighty blow, yeah, yeah. Every single hit was a removal, and uh, and also Spartacus made a very small misplay, and um, but it was critical. That's why he didn't score. Here comes the blitz. Yeah, I like this blitz. Oof. 
So this one, double rush. Maybe he should have single rushed with the wraith to here, and then he could have just moved him to there. Because you're pretty much going to reroll this anyway, right? Like, this is the thing, you're going to reroll this anyway. Yeah, you have to. So, wasn't it better just to roll one rush, even though you had to do it first? Probably. Probably. But, I mean, he did get this in a better square for this, and this got got great tackle. Man, Diamond's pretty good, isn't he? Because <laughs> I, I, I would have liked the Wraith here and the Zombie there, but then this guy would have had a 3 plus dodge just to come and get you, so, yeah. I mean, this guy's got a 3 plus anyway with tackle, but still. That is stronger, but is it worth a 2 plus? Hmm, don't know. Here we go. So, what does Spartacus do? He can't get the assist. It's just a dodge for a 1D, isn't it? That's all there is. 1D without the uh, rerolls. Turn 16, all or nothing. There you go. This is the Blood Bowl at its core. <laughs> yeah. 3 5. That's all he's got. Someone is going to blame the dice one way or the other <laughs> after this turn. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got this one here. He's got this one here. Can this do anything? He could pow there and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. No, not really. I think all there is is three five. Does there you the three... go. Where's the five? Oh. Oh. He's got Juggernaut to push him back, which I guess he might as well. And yeah, the wrestle's there to blitz him, to blitz him to get him out. Flip me. I think he's uh, he now has to use the. Break tackle piece to try. I don't know. To tag the wrestle next to the org and <laughs> it's rough, isn't tag it? Tag the wrestle, you know, staying next to his blitzer. <laughs> no, he does. He gets oh, it. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's something. That's something. Yeah, that's a really nice square. Flip me. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> now, Diomed, no rerolls. He has the three plus to score. Uh, is it a score? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a three, two, two. Yeah, three, two, two. Ooh, someone, as I say, someone is going to blame the dice after this turn <laughs> 16. Great turn from Spartacus, to be fair. Yes, he, he, he found gold in a swamp of shite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because uh, it was a horrible situation. I mean, the dice helped him, but he did the, the place that he had to. Yep. He had to. One way. This uh, game is so intense that Dimmy G is pointing the, the phone to the stars <laughs> over a chair so the light arrives faster to Centaurus A. <laughs> Okay, Diomed knows what he has to do. He's just, you know, mentalizing himself, getting the mental game right that, okay, <laughs> this is it. Because with 27 seconds left in the time bank. <laughs> yep, he does it. Three, there you go. two, oh! Oh 
And then uh, the winners of the submission is the 29% of the people that choose just this World of War overtime. Wow, and the Orcs get the ball. But their KOs stayed out. Oh! All three KOs stayed out. <laughs> All three KOs stayed out. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players. And how many do the, ne the Necros KO stays out? The Necro have got nine players. Flip me. Wow! <laughs> 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 Perfect outcome, and it was because of the juggernaut, right? That pushed him back an extra square. He, he rolled, he rolled the board down, but the the juggernaut pushed in that square, which made him make the rushes, which failed. Unbelievable, unbelievable, Jeff. What a match! What a match! So there's. Basically six good players for Diamond and three rubbish players. And there's uh, six good players for Spartacus and one rubbish one. <laughs> so it's pretty close still, you know, like although although Diamond is up two players, they're not good. And uh, Spartacus has the punches. And no rerolls on either side. No rerolls on either side. Uh, in average, the orc players are better, but the necro players are also very good. Uh, he has still has all his. Uh, the necros have all uh, his guards, all the wolves. Mm. Yeah, they've got even guard now, haven't they? They both got four guard. No, no, there's fifth. I didn't see this guy. So there's, it is five guard. He's lost his ball carrying guy, movement seven. Yeah, there's kicks, there's five roll offs, and the one who wins the most wins kicks. Right? If he goes to kicks, someone is still going, uh, will win. Yeah. Someone <laughs> will end today being the new CCL champion. That I can promise. Gets the free pickup attempt. That's not bad, is it? No, and can be even two free pickups attempts. Mm. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. <laughs> Five roll-offs. So they, you, they both roll a dice, and the highest dice roll wins. And then they do that five times. I mean, there's no need to do it, right? You could just toss a coin, or you could do one roll-off. But for some reason, they do it five times, just to build suspense. I mean, that is the rules of Blood Bowl. Oh, dub skulls! Oh instant! God. Instant dub skulls! No safe moves to protect the ball. Into stun. Wow, 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 wow. Today, in safe moves first. It hasn't been three hours. It's been an hour and a half. It started at eight. Yeah, yeah. It could be for, it could be three hours if it was a rebel game. No, no, no. They don't have time bank enough to make these three hours. <laughs> no, rebel aren't using that. There's an option for like uh, four minutes per turn, and there's an option for like unlimited turns. And uh, rebel are actually just using the normal clock, so <laughs> can't normal even clock on rebel. All right, mm. okay. That's a that's a difference compared with the old days. Yeah, yeah, I can't even make the rebel jokes anymore. Tragic. Tragic. <laughs> I was going to make one about, you know, people watching this game in Centaurus A before the end of a game of rebel, but not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, I like putting the, the wolf there. 
he's surely going to blitz this guy with a wolf. Uh, but he can move the fleshy in first. So all the safe moves from Diomed. I would have gone even one more there. Oh, okay, he's going to blitz him instead. All right, fair enough. That's probably better, isn't now, it? Now, this is the full 24 turns. Yes. Yeah. Even if someone scores. Yep. Wow. I guess uh, he the time will bank, rush, rush. The, the time bank becomes critical. As an ice ras. Yeah, Diamond, 27 seconds, Spartacus 124. Yeah, they've got to think about the time bank. <laughs> it's not over yet, true. But yeah, it looks bad for them, doesn't it? It does look very bad for them. That dub skull into stone was pretty game losing. But you never know. Gets the full power. The all appearance doesn't stop that blitzer for touching that grave. <laughs> so now he's got to pick up the tackle zone and break tackle away, right? There's no, there's no real choice about this, I don't think. And where to go? <laughs> Flip nose. Maybe, maybe you put the tackler in there. And then he goes one two, one two. Maybe keeps dot. Maybe keeps break tackle. No, he just leaves him there. Oh, fails the pick up. Okay, well, there is a chance that we see a two D on that uh, blitzer. <laughs> yeah. Safe moves first. Safe, 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 safe. That's. That's the name of the game, isn't it? He wants to do everything that he can safe. Yes, there is no rerolls, nothing like that, so... Very tough, very tough. Man, this is one of these games. If I was playing this game, I would already throw the dice over the, the, <laughs> the table a few times and I'll be up for the story, but watching it is really nice. <laughs> I feel like the this zombie should have been here, right? Then he would have had two yeah. and two there, and then he would yeah, have had the yeah. blitz, and then he would have. Had I think he's two. going to blitz with the other uh, wall, the wolf in the mm. left, because he hasn't really got a safe two. Oh yeah, he does. Yeah, he's got two and two that way. There you go, two into two. Gets the pound. Double pound, brutal. And now he has a very easy uh, pickup. Well, a three plus pickup. Yep. Which Not. decides to fail, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Bad decision to fail. That should have should have Bad simply rolled the three plus. <laughs> the pickups in this game have been. Uh, Yes, Dimi, it was very easy. Dimi, <laughs> have you kept the, your phone uh, pointing to Centaurus A? <laughs> because people want to watch this. Eh? I don't want to start an intergalactic war in 22 million years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because uh, you, uh, they can watch the end of the game. That's, that's literally a Futurama episode and Futurama is science. <laughs> The knockdown, keeping it alive. No, if he break, not a removal. Man, what a match! Who's gonna pick up the ball from <laughs> now on until the end of the game? Let me know for both teams. I mean, the, the, the ace in the hole that Diamond has is the Wraiths, right? I'm sure. I'm sure on turn 24, <laughs> it'll finally be the time that the Wraith scoring threat pays off. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Can you imagine that's why the Titan is uh, arrived to the Milky Way? <laughs> because he wanted to watch the end of the game. <laughs> oh, 
côté. So, man, he's just got to he's just got to get the guard in here, right? He just has to get the guard in there. Does he? I mean, he needs to think. He needs to think. Big the problem time. is he doesn't have much time to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got to think big time. How long is the dis disconnect timer in this uh, blue box? <laughs> I think it uses your time bank. So if he disconnects, he'll just lose. Oh, my God. Oh, the one in nine. Of all the results. He's got a second chance, but now blockless. <laughs> maybe, maybe no better try to hand off Joe Rafe over the time. Maybe it works in blue. <laughs> oh, you can blitz with a fleshy. You can blitz with this fleshy. Oh, this is a great blitz, isn't it? Just blitz him. The problem is, it's gonna like free. It's, it means he's gonna get a big and back eventually as well. But you get yours in first. So this is sure. No, he's blitzing with a zombie. Wow. I thought for sure he's gonna just blitz with his fleshy, right, and then come back. Wow. Uh, so, I mean, the golem is just a straight line, you know? You were like, uh, bad, oh my <laughs> god! I guess he's just gonna punch, right? I guess this this one's just gonna punch him, and then he'll be free. No, he's not even punching. Wow! Oh, I guess he's, he's got break tackle and stuff, and he uh, it's kind of locked down, but... Like, at the moment, it's just a 1D, right? And he can't free anything himself, so I guess Diamond thinks if he just frees out all of this stuff... I'm winning, and if he makes this block, there's a chance of the scores. I two, think the 2D, the 2D with the golem works very well because if it's a a pow and a, you know follow, even if the, the the orc has break tackle, it's a big gun. He's gonna move two squares. Mm. And he's still got like the thing is, Spartacus has still got this blitz, and then move him down anyway, right? Like. If, if you do your blitz here, then next turn, okay, you can stand up and do the same thing, but at least yours is in first, whereas now Spartacus could blitz and move back. Oh. Gets the zombie down. Okay, one problem sorted. No, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't get the push. No, he does, he's got Juggernaut! <laughs> but, ah! Oh my god, Juggernaut, here we go! <laughs> And the rush. Whoa, whoa, sweating, <laughs> sweating there. <laughs> and now... This is mental. <laughs> oh yeah, take this punch because you can. Whoa, but I mean, yeah. What about the block lineman? Does he try to dodge him in? Does he just block? No, he tries to dodge him in. And a rush. No facts given. <laughs> no facts given. The Omedias do things. Yeah, I really like. I really like the uh, fleshy blitz. Maybe this turn he'll do the fleshy blitz too. Because now it gets better. Because now if you power him, he can't get back for like another two turns. Yes. And yes, Jutgular, he's right, and that proves my point that, you know, when you are two without rerolls, basically, when you truly play. <laughs> yeah, he has rolled a lot better without rerolls. Oh my god! Oh my god, there's been a lot of rolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've kind of got to move this fleshy first, so that he doesn't get stranded, unless you want him to be stranded, but I don't think you do, because you want to strand the, you want to strand the bigger on your... And your zombies, you really want to just move this guy to like here. So he's there. And then you blitz with this one, I think. Get him in there. And what a uh... Okay, he does the he does the blitz first. Okay. Freeze the fleshy. 
was going to have to go there, I think. Jesus Christ, what, what, yeah, what a mess of uh, <laughs> square pieces, uh, chains. Oh, beautiful chain. That beautiful chain that frees everything. Now is that Dutch wolf. He makes the dodge. He makes the pick up. Makes the pick up. <laughs> the, f the funny thing is, he doesn't really want to score like early because there's all these kills, right? That could come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he has to stall as much as possible. Mm. But he can't stay there. <laughs> what an overtime. What a final. 20 seconds. Now, yeah, he's, he's eating into his time bank. Oh. And the turn. Oh. oh my god, if you are the orc, you are a Spartacus. <laughs> this is 2D on the ball with the dodge of the. with the big gun. Yeah, yeah. And you don't mind, I uh, has a side step, so. Oh, he blitzes the wraith. That, this was a bit risky because a push would have put him right in the way of the big one. And but now he can just base him with the. Uh, oh, he's blocked his path. Wait, what? Go, go a little lower. One square lower. He can't. He's out of movement. Oh yes. Yeah, so. Oh. No. But he's gonna rush, he's gonna have to rush. Oh he makes it <laughs> Yeah, I don't feel like Spartacus apart from that dub skull, he just hasn't failed a single thing, has he? In the overtime. And 21. Okay, so you get to move the fleshy down. We get to block this uh, blitzer and then 1D with the wolf blitz, right? That's not as good as it gets. I mean, after this, Spartacus has three turns. Dodge to score now. It's also an option. Oh, do you know what? I think he's going to blitz. I think he's going to blitz this guy because the break tackle is dangerous. So I think he'll block. He'll block him, and then he'll uh, blitz him up. And so I, I would have actually put this guy over here, right? So that if I when I blitzed him, if I pushed him, then powered him, he'd be based on the fleshy. That that would have been my play. I really I really like my play. <laughs> put the fleshy there. And then blitz out here, th three, four, right? And then push, push. And then you've got him bracketed and hopefully on the ground. And then you can come back here and then like, you know, just, he can put, he can one deep push you, it's okay, right? Like he's just got to full power you and then you can sidestep and stuff. The double score and three kills, I guess they were quite, but I mean, they were, yeah. But, um... Yeah. But like after that, his dice have been great, haven't they? After the three failed chaos. I mean, after the three failed chaos, he won the toss, to be fair, which was, you know, crucial. He's got a break tackle, but the problem is if you break tackle, then this guy's free as well, isn't he? So if you fail this, then you freed him up, so you can't really do that. And the brick tackle is a two plus, the same as the block with the wall. Mm. Oh, he dodges and scores. Okay. We finally he couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> like you know, worst case scenario, this go to quicks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's okay. All right, three, six, eight players for the orcs, and ten for the for the necro. 
So one, the one KO came back and one of yeah, the three. Be back in a second. So yeah, this is... This is a very hard three-turn score, isn't it? But they've got their... What, the one that came back wasn't one of the two linemen. It was the Super Blitzer. Oh. Flip me. Flip. Flipping me. And now the orcs. Partacus, three times, one night less than ninety seconds in the time bank. <laughs> yeah. Bunch of orcs. Fighting for the kicks now. If the if at the turn six of the first half you have told me we'll end here, I will be really surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how costly, how costly that, that mistake was of not pick, not going for the pickup with the uh, break tackle guy. Oh, heartbreak, heartbreak for Spartacus. But, um, so he was so close to just winning this. But he might still, he might still win it, mightn't he? He might still win it. Yes, he can, he can still go to kicks and win it there. Mm. Oh, it's a good kick. Yeah, it's a good kick. If it had been anywhere like around here and he could have just got, you know, seven forward. And then he would have been in range for just three three turns without now he's got to transfer the ball or make way too many rushes. Three, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Like four rushes he's gotta to make to score. Cool. Better to do a three plus to another uh, orc. Yeah. Does animosity works with handoffs? Yes. No but but blitzers can uh, hand off to other blitzers. Um, I think Blitzers can't hand off to anybody because they're like the stars of the team, right? I think they're animosity all, yeah, they're animosity all. It's biggins that are, that are animosity to the other biggins. Yes, Lord's mid is a full half. Yes, yeah, that changed with... Uh, 2024 rules. So yeah, biggins don't hand it off to other biggins, but would happily give it to somebody else. Which doesn't really make any sense, right? You'd think that's what like goblins would have, because goblins would think, I'm not going to give it to another goblin because he's not better than me, but like he'd defer to his superiors, right? Or like linemen would be like that. Do linemen just have other linemen? Yeah. So linemen have only got animosity for the raw linemen. Biggins should have animosity to everybody that isn't a biggin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That goes with the, uh, you know, the, the org uh, mentality, the boys. Yeah, yeah. That's what they should have. So a bit of a mistake there by uh, Games Workshop. <laughs> As we make the animosity uh, much weaker because the amount of time you're gonna hand off uh, with a big gun to another big gun is very confused. Yeah. yeah. Blitzers handing off to another blitzer. Yeah, that's what happened a lot. Mm. And Mr. Throw has animosity towards everybody. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's so dumb. Right. It's the, the guy with pass, you know, the guy with pass. <laughs> yeah, its entire job is to pass the ball and he's like, no, -uh, not doing it. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Mr. Don't breathe. I mean, the breathe fire isn't isn't a buff, is it really? <laughs> They do get a puke, don't they, if they've got a troll. 
Oh, yeah, the breath fire from the Chaos Dwarves. Mm. Oh, what, what an amazing skill. <laughs> There should be some skills, you know, that having them will make the player cheaper. <laughs> it is his job. Yeah, that's the thing, mate. Like, the animosity is such a small... Like such a small gameplay element, it's just it's just stupid. Like it, I think it's a shit rule from like games design perspective, right? Like it barely has any effect, but it's another thing for like new players to remember. Like that's why I made such a big deal about how bad it was, you know, in like the previews and stuff where Skuro and I did when we saw the rules, like the rules. Yeah, league. yeah, it's everyone to a different one, and also you have the. The Mr. Throw, which is a crap uh, player anyway, not having animosity, at least you can say, you know, you can you get justify that? Mm. Like it's just it's just so dumb that it's like a new another rule for new players to remember and it just barely has any effect, but you still got to remember it, you still got to know oh look up what do what do Lyman have animosity to? Like it's just stupid. Just stupid. They certainly look great, yeah, Salamander. They look great, but um, I mean, it's a huge nerf, right? Losing tackle. And break tackle not being as good. Yep, and claw pom going. But now the Bull Centaurs can get the mutations. Yeah. For 40 bloody TV, so I don't think there's anything you'd really want. <laughs> Charmin uh, with a point there, yes. Um, overtime is not count as being half part of the second half. No, it the, the trap doors stay there as a visual bug on Blood Bowl three, but it, they do not um, have any effect in overtime. Yeah, exactly, Chigan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, roll the one, and that is that it. It. The big one could technically maybe get chained, but it's very I unlikely. I think that big uh, one is getting a hit. Yes, he's getting clawed. I think there is a chance of 2D on uh, him. Yeah, now he's powered, and that is it. That is it. That wow. is it. That is it. Unless there is a miracle uh, play. Wow. I mean, chain it forward, you'd be like, it would have been insane because you'd have to like dodge in here and like blitz this this fleshy or like blitz this, sorry, blitz this zombie or like you could have like blitzed this guy and then blocked him there and then blocked him there. Like, so it would be, you'd need crazy dice, but like you could have maybe used one of the zombies to chain him and forward. Now, now the humorous. is just uh, counting squares for the opponent players, that's really like that. Just playing it safe in case he hasn't overseen uh, something. Yeah. But uh, it's over. Um. Yes. I think it's fair to say it's over. Yeah. Yeah. You could look at it for a minute or two. I really don't think there's any way to to get this guy pushed forward at all, much less twice. You can't push him from this side because of the fleshy. So you've got to push him this way. And then you just can't. Uh, no, yeah, okay, you can. Right, you can. You can. You can blitz him from here. Fill these two squares. And then push him up. Then he blocks him back down and goes to there. But it's only one square, isn't it? And then this guy blocks him with these squares filled. So you need to fill four, five, six... Um, 
seven, six or seven squares with less than six or seven players total. So I don't think it's possible. <laughs> ah, well, well, well. <laughs> And Diomed, has he won SCL before? Um, I mean, I know he's a household name in the competition. He's uh, played a lot of times in the CCL Cup. Yeah, he's he's won he's won the second uh, he's won Blood Bowl two chalice before. Um, I don't think he's won Blood Bowl three chalice before. I'm sure I should write down who's won the different chalices on Blood Bowl three, shouldn't I? Because we. Gary and track Blood Bowl 2 and now nobody tracks Blood Bowl 3 so I guess I could and somebody has there you go match finish congratulations uh, Diomedo uh, to, be too, to be told for me CCL Blood Bowl 2 and Blood Bowl 3 is the same uh, thing they just, keep, they just keep going it's like uh, <laughs> you know it's the, the, the chance to change the, rule, the rules in football but the World Cup is the World Cup you know when there were just a, a handful of teams and now they're like 6 million teams and it still count the same. Yeah. And the galaxies have been entertained, especially <laughs> Centaurus A. 60,000 light years. So, people, please, people of Centaurus A, which see the game first, don't spoil it to your neighbors <laughs> in this stand uh, at the other side of the galaxy. <laughs> I will be surprised. Oh, sorry, sorry. I also have to finish the prediction. <laughs> This time nobody mm. wanted to waste more points. <laughs> and 72% when they vote for the Necros, which mm. were right. Necro won. Wow, what a match. What an absolute unbelievable match. Congratulations, Diamed. Commiserations, Spartacus. That was incredible. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Fami. It was great having you in the booth for this uh, incredible Pleasure to thing. be here. And with my luck, probably I just choose the galaxy with more uh, genocidal uh, <laughs> cultures, you know, following my ranches in countries. <laughs> probably. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.